everyone and welcome back to another match day vlog it is the independence day weekend so that means normally a lot of derbies and as you could see we have a spicy one today and i know today is also elana against avisha but personally i have to be at this game i have friends from both cities and i'm of course talking about the Gwambi Sostoviets against polonia Bitong, the derby between the two meme cities here in silesia i can be short when it comes to what happens on the field the Gwambi haven't won a game in four games and Polonia Bitom is in a much better place, much better form. They were on an 11 win streak until they met team PZPN but they are looking to get first place. Next weekend will be an even more important game against Pogon. We will be there. Normally I would say it's Sosnowiec, anything can happen but I'm not so sure about it today. But let's be honest here, we are not really interested in what's happening on the field. It's what's happening in the stands. Arguably the two biggest supporters groups in the Dugi Liga will go head to head today. Uh, there's a full mobilization. There's a full mill. There's a full away sector. I'm on my way now to Sosnovets to meet up my, my friend. It will be her first high risk game, but I'm excited. Been looking forward to this game for a while. So let's get going. Thank you. 
Koniec spotkania na Ar... Well, that match escalated at the end. <laughs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? On the field, it wasn't really that special. Both sides didn't really create a lot of attacks. Especially for Polonia side, I was expecting a bit more. But a 1-1 is a fair result in this case. Uh, Polonia is now three points behind Pogon. But they will both play each other next weekend, so they could go on equal points then. But yeah, in the stadium, it escalated. It started in the first half with a sector banner from Zagombia aimed at Polonia Beton. And then it escalated further with burning the banners that they stole a couple of years ago. But in the second half, it completely escalated when Polonia Beton started with their pyros. Firework was thrown, flags were thrown, security was using pepper spray, and it lasted for like at least 10 minutes, during which Polonia scored the equalizer, which I missed because I was watching the Kipolo show. But yeah, I knew it was going to be a spicy derby, and it was true to its name. Tomorrow we have another one, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, you know what to do. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.